हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन हियर आई एम विद द मोस्ट अवेटेड सीरीज ऑफ मैथ्स क्लासेस बिकॉज मेनी एस्पेरेंट्स हैव बीन रिक्वेस्टिंग मी फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लासेस सो आई हैव प्लान्ड सेवन क्लासेस इन दिस सीरीज ईच सेशन विल बी डिस्कस्ड बेस्ड ऑन वन कंपल्सरी मैथ्स क्वेश्चन which will be asked in karnataka tet 2024 i mean to say we will be discussing the most expected question in each session okay now what is this uh, uh, karnataka tet this is actually karnataka teacher eligibility test and it is conducted by school education department and it is conducted every year so this year the date has been already fixed it will be conducted on june 30th 2024 now as i have already told you i have planned a series of uh, sessions based on uh, most expected maths questions there are seven compulsory maths questions which we can expect in karnataka tet 2024 so in the present session i will be discussing the first question of that type but for this series to be successful i need uh, you all to participate actively by responding you can write in the comment section or you can hit the like button you can also share my uh, sessions and also and also please subscribe to my channel for the uh, future sessions because if you subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon you will get uh, updates as and when i post a new session okay i have already told about the expected blueprint for karnataka tet paper 2 mathematics i have discussed this uh, in detail in one of our previous sessions what i actually told was that uh, from the given syllabus in the uh, karnataka tet syllabus arithmetic progression we can expect uh, one to two questions from number system one to four questions from statistics and probability two questions from trigonometry one to two questions from coordinate geometry one to two questions we can expect from identities Zero to one question, and from pair of linear equations and two variables, we can expect one question. Quadratic equations, one question. Polynomials, one question. Mensuration, we can expect four to five questions, and from triangles, one question. Quadrilaterals, one to two questions. Circles, one question, and uh, one to two questions from area related to circles. From this blueprint, it is clear that the number system and mensuration are the most important chapters. compared to other chapters from the syllabus now keeping this aside i have done a, a sort of research by analyzing the previous year question papers based on that i have come up with the most expected seven questions means there are compulsory type of questions which will be asked in 2024 okay so that type of one question we will be discussing in this session so i have got this question uh, from 2022 question paper and uh, another such question is from 2023 question paper now these two questions belong to the chapter number system which carries 4 to 5 marks in our expected blueprint now based on this uh, i am going to give you five most important questions and i am sure that if you learn all these type of questions you will surely answer the question which will be asked in 2024 based on this concept okay so now i will give you most expected questions and also i will give you solutions to those questions they can ask this type of question the value of square root of 0.01 plus square root of 0.81 plus square root of 1.21 Plus square root of zero point zero 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 nine. To answer this type of questions, you should be knowing the squares values and square root values. So I would advise you all to learn square roots value from one to twenty five. Okay. Now here clearly, square root of zero point zero one is zero point one, because decimal point will shift in the right hand side if you remove the square root like that only square root of 81 is 9 right so here it is 0.81 so it will be 0.9 square root of 121 is 11 right 
here you have 1.21 so the square root of 1.21 will be 1.1 similarly the square root of 9 is 3 but here there are three zeros after decimal points so you will have a one zero after decimal point so the answer will be 0 0.03 now as per the question just you have to add up all these values and your answer will be 2.13 option b will be the correct answer okay another such question which can be expected this time find the value of square root of 0 0.04 plus square root of 0 0.25, square root of 4, plus square root of 1.44. So here uh, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 144 is 12. Keeping those things in mind, you have to play with the decimals and you will get 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 2 and 1.2 respectively. Add it up and you will get the answer. Okay. Another expected question of similar type is find the value of cube root of 0 0.008 plus cube root of 0 0.027 plus cube root of 8. Here I would advise you to learn cube roots. Okay, so here clearly cube root of 8 is 2, right? And cube root of 27 is 3, right? And uh, when you have decimal numbers, especially zeros are there you have to remove those uh, zeros when you remove the cube root. So here 0 0.008 is there, no. So two zeros will go when you remove the cube root and you will have 0 0.2. Like that only 0 0.027 will become 0 0.3 if you remove the cube root. And the cube root of 8 though is already 2, right? So you have 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 2 added up, you get 2.5. Okay. So similar type of question uh, which you can practice is a uh, this this is including division and addition now you all know the values of square roots for all the numbers right for 0 0.25 it is 0 0.5 for 0 0.04 it is 0 0.2 for uh, square root of 1 means your answer will be 1 only right and square root of 0 0.09 it is 0 0.3 square root of 4 will be 2 square root of 1.6 will be 0 0.4 and square root of 16 will be 4 and square root of 0 0.64 will be 0.8. Okay, so this is a little bit of, uh, tougher question because uh, more of simplification is required. Uh, we cannot say how much easier the question will be or how much tougher the question will be. That's why I'm giving you both the type of questions under the expected questions. Okay, so once you find the answers here, you just have to add up and you will get the answer. Okay. See, I would advise you to pause the video right now, take a pen and a book and uh, try to solve yourself. I am giving you the solution here, but I am not writing the solutions because I want you all to write the solutions by listening to my class. Okay. Uh, another most expected question and little bit more tougher question is uh, this one. Here, uh, the decimal points are there, square roots are there, multiplication is there and addition is also there. This is a uh, more uh, tougher question among the other questions so now you know all the answers for each term relating to square root right you have to write their answers then divide and then add up finally okay so i have given you five most expected questions for same type of concept and uh, i can guarantee you that if you learn these five questions nicely then you will surely answer any question which will be asked from this concept in 2024. Okay, so that is my guarantee. So I hope that you have uh, tried to solve these problems along with me. If not, please pause the video right now and solve it. After that, I am going to give you an assignment. But uh, I would advise you to go for the assignment only after solving all this. Okay. So this is the assignment. Here I want to make one small announcement. The aspirant will give me the first correct answer to this question in the comment section. I will announce the name of the aspirant in order to encourage the aspirant in the next session. That is a second session of this series. Okay. And that session will be posted only if I get very nice response for this present session okay so you can give a active response 
to this session by liking the video sharing it and also subscribing to my channel okay so i really hope that uh, you liked this class and uh, please do let me know your feedback in the comment section thank you all the best bye